friends, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Hot News. Just a couple notes of reminder. Don't forget that this coming Friday, we have our third annual 24 hour charity live stream event where we're gonna be raising money for Syngap Research Fund to go towards research that could potentially end up uh, leading towards treatment or a cure for my son's rare disease, as well as other hundreds of people who suffer from having Syngap 1. So you can stay tuned for that. We are giving away my one of a kind $4,000 UFD Tech PC, that is a $1,000 X570 motherboard on there that is custom UFD Tech emblazoned, 3950X, 5700 XT, 64 gigs of RAM, custom water cooled, it's a big one. But we also have a couple other giveaways planned. We've got other sponsors who are coming in. Big note, we have uh, just confirmed that MSI is going to be giving away a motherboard and a monitor, as well as other companies who are joining in. So stay tuned for that, as well as potentially unlocked giveaways, such as an RTX 2080 Ti. That's gonna all be happening on Friday. So check in here, be ready. We've got a bunch of stuff planned, but let's talk about today's video sponsor before we get into the hot news, which is Filthy, my friends. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now. We're required to wear face masks. You can either get fabric ones such as this, or you can get other ones that have the pocket for a mask insert, and that is where Filthy comes in, or you can create your own mask with them. I have a giant sheet of their custom nanofiber technology material that they used for HVACs, but then when everything went down in the world, they realized that they could pivot and actually start helping the every person with masks and all of that. It's a patent pending nanofiber technology that's similar to N95 quality mass. It's been third party tested to filter 83 to 95% of aerosolized airborne particles, including bacteria and viruses. And unlike other N95 masks, which electrostatically get rid of everything that's coming into the mass, this one does it physically because of the nanofiber weave that is in the material. So you can actually get it in giant sheets such as this to cut out your own masks and make it yourself. Or if you use the link in the video description, they have their new mask material inserts made in the US. USA. It's a Kansas-based company. You can get 20 pre-cut original filthy nanofiber masks inserts at the link in the video description. Protect yourself, protect loved ones, protect people out in the world with Filthy. Get you a little bit of extra protection for yourself and others. So check Filthy out at the link in the video description. Now let's get talking about filtering out some of the news that's going out in the world right now, including MSI has filed for 29 brand new GPUs with the Eurasian Economic Commission in their EEC filings, which is highly indicative of what has happened with other GPU launches that we've had in the past. So 29 different versions, 14 V388 models, 11 V389, and 4 V390 models. So likely that translates to the 3070, 3080, and 3090. So four highest end cards, 11 high end cards, and then 14 mid range cards, which actually makes a lot of sense. You can see all of the model numbers here. This is a lot of cards, and just more information continuing to come out ahead of the September 1st announcement that we're expecting from NVIDIA and could potentially look like a good time. I'm actually curious. I want to know from you guys. Let me know down in the comments if these are launching simultaneously the AIB partner models, such as MSI's, let's say it's called a gaming Z or whatever, the gaming trio versus the Founders Edition. Which one are you picking up? Do you always go custom or do you like the Founders Edition look? You're gonna pick up Founders Edition plus a water block, which we'll talk about in a second. But let's talk about another card that some people were thinking might have been a 30 series Zotac. Japan actually teased a brand new white OC model of their cards. And after they realized, oh, <laughs> there's a new GPU launch, they corrected it to be, this is an RTX 2060 Super, okay? This is not. 30 series, so calm down, no rumors, which it that makes sense. It looks nearly identical to current edition, so I don't think that that cooler could actually handle the upcoming 30 series is what we're expecting it to be. But on top of that, we've also got a leaked die picture of the GA102-300, which is expected to be the die on the RTX 3090 with 5,376 CUDA cores. There is a GPU die that is slightly larger than this. Instead of the GA102-300, it would be the GA102-400. So this is a quality sample. This is the 400 is potentially going to be reserved for a Titan. That's the kind of idea right now, although there's a lot of indication that maybe the 3090 is the Titan replacement. We're not 100% sure on what's going down. We won't know 100% until NVIDIA comes out on the stage, Jensen, on September 1st. But 
continuing to get more and more information, including the fact that EK teased the fact that they will have water blocks close to launch or at launch with people posting on their Facebook page asking, are you you're participating in this countdown? Are you going to have blocks perhaps? But then also in another post, they said we'll have some things ready at or close to launch. So in case you want that giant behemoth, massive 3090, that's a triple slot and you want to slim that down, you can get an EK water block and then just shave off the extra IO ports that harken back to Linus cutting off the DVI port on his Titan. <laughs> Ah, let's harken back to a day where people got excited for mobile GPUs. Did that ever exist? I'm not quite sure, but NVIDIA announcing and releasing their first PCI Express 4.0 graphics card. And I know we're waiting on the RTX 3, 3000 series, but this is, you know, PCI Express 4.0 and the MX450. It's coming out. The spec ID right here. It does appear like it's going to be on GDDR5 and 6. It's got all of the good stuff that you would expect and PCI Express 4.0 in the laptop. No word on performance just yet. We'll have to stay tuned on that information. And you're gonna need a heckin' lot of performance to support this with Asus formally announcing their ROG P25 and 9QN, which is their 1080p 360 hertz monitor. This is something that was actually announced a while ago that I think it was back at CES. Potentially, there's no word on price or release date. This is kind of just like the reaffirmation that Asus does to be like, yeah, you know that monitor we announced? Yeah, it's still coming out. Okay, cool, when? Stop. That's essentially how these things go. However, Linus, of course, has one. ROG Swift 360 hertz is what he's got. I just, I'm expecting a $750 price tag on this, which, you know, might necessarily not be worth it, but, are you excited for 360 hertz? Let me know down in the comments. And are you excited for the fact that iBuyPower just announced their Element CL gaming pre-builds, which I know pre-built PC is not necessarily something that PC enthusiasts get excited about. Well, what if I told you that they are custom hardline liquid cooled pre-builds? Yes, my friends. They ship with a front block rad as well as cooling on the CPU and the GPU. It's actually quite neat. They have their teaser trailer. You get hardline tubing with innovative fittings. It's it's pretty dang cool that you can get a pre-built like this. I buy power coming out with custom water blocks and everything. What do you think of the Element CL? Let me know down below in the comments. We actually may or may not be showing this off on Friday at the charity stream. May or may not. And speaking of pre-builds, NZXT realizing that, well, not everybody might be able to afford hardline custom water cooling. They might be able to afford something a bit more entry level, which is where they're coming out with their starter PCs for their BLD lineup or build lineup. I'm actually not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that. Starting at $699, you can see that this is just kind of a normal looking PC. They start at $699, which will get you an i3-9100F with a GTX 1650. Let me know what you think of the starter series down below. You can get it up to a i5-9400F with a 1660 Ti as well for $1,000. I'm keen to hear what you guys think of these pre-builds down below. But in case you want to pre-built in the smallest form factor that you could possibly get, that's called a laptop, my friends. And XMG announcing that their Neo 15 and Neo 17 will both support liquid metal thermal interface material. To just give you that a little bit of extra better temperature on the i7-10850H and making sure that your performance is all the more snug and beautiful. And speaking of beautiful, the Epic Games versus Apple showdown is beautifully rendering out in the public eye with it going before a judge who said, hey, Epic Games, you intentionally violated the terms of service of Apple. Yeah, you're not getting Fortnite reinstated. We You did this on purpose, which is good. But then the judge also ruled that Apple shouldn't actually pull Unreal Engine from the App Store, that that's a separate issue and that's going too far, which is what Microsoft filed a formal statement on behalf of Epic Games for, which is just, hey, hey, I don't care about the Fortnite crap, but you don't pull Unreal Engine. That's going to hurt way too many people. Please don't do this. And the judge actually filing in favor of what Microsoft wanted, although I don't know if Microsoft actually had any formal sway with the judge. The judge actually seems kind of level headed. Hey, yeah, Epic Games, you intentionally did this. You're suffering consequences for it. Personally, personally, while I do think that removing Unreal Engine from iOS would be too far, Epic Games did violate the terms of service. So therefore, Epic Games as a publisher has re refused its right to work with Apple. That's ju that just makes logical sense to me, although it would, it would have downstream effects, which maybe Epic Games doesn't want to actually see happen. But speaking of Microsoft filing stuff, 
Oh man, they need to file themselves into into just getting getting right with themselves because oh, they have three limited edition Wonder Woman consoles and one of the three is okay. Two of the three ain't bad. Another one is horrible. Look at this. Okay, I kind of like this this orange one over here. The controller is good. The golden one is a bit tacky for me, but whatever. It looks fine. The cheetah print one. Are you serious? What this this. This belongs in like, a, I don't even know. That's just a horrible console. And especially with all of the thermal issues that like a, the Xbox has, you really want to put fabric on top of it. Man, I don't know. What do you think of these Wonder Woman consoles down below in the comments? This is just, ugh, I can't. The good news is, however, even though they are hideous in my opinion, they are being auctioned for proceeds going towards domestic violence response organization together for her. So it's going towards a good cause, even if, wow. Speaking of wow, whenever you guys used to watch me over on my Twitch live streams, twitch.tv forward slash UF Disciple, come give me a follow over there. You used to comment on how many tabs I had open for talking about hot news. That's because I have like probably, I don't know, a good 30, 40 tabs open right now. And Chrome's gonna save me because with the latest update, the tab grouping feature is now here and I could just make a hot news tab for all the things and then shorten it for all the crap I'm working on because it gets it gets arduous at times and it gets arduous to play games multiple times in order to get achievements, especially when they're released on different platforms and you try to do it. Well, EA in a good move is retroactively adding Steam achievements to their games on on the Steam platform. If you got them over on Origin or if you played the game on Steam and achieved the thing, it's going to give you the Steam achievement, which is just kind of nice. Thanks, thanks EA. And speaking of kind of nice, Elon Musk's Neuralink is getting unveiled this coming Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. This is uh, Elon Musk tweeting out that there is a live webcast of a working Neuralink device this coming Friday, which definitely we're gonna be showcasing on our charity stream on Friday, which is my reminder to you again, we've got tons of high-end prizes to give away as a raffle for the charity stream. So come check us out this coming Friday for us raising money for Syngap Research. I'm excited about it. We've got a lot of good stuff planned. We have a bunch of other tech tubers who are going to be participating remotely. It's good stuff. We're excited for the charity stream. So uh, be stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for checking out Filthy with their custom nanofiber technology material. You can actually protect yourself and protect your loved ones with theirs. You can make masks out of the material. You can use them as mask inserts. It's gonna be good for protecting yourself and others. Check the link in the video description to pick up the mask inserts or just the giant roll of material in case you want that, as well as all the information on what the material actually is. And with that being said, hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode of Hot News. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. I'm Brett, you've just been hot news, and you might want to get that checked out.